Hello and welcome back to the another episode of Daily News Analysis for UPSC 2025. It is 23rd July and we are going to discuss these nine important articles which were in the newspaper. You know, if you will look at the at these articles and you would have followed my classes earlier, you would come to know that we had discussed many of them in our previous sessions. But, you know, we will take some uh, important points which were in the uh, in the article which were in the newspaper so that it will add up uh, to your preparation so without uh, before we start uh, without any delay uh, before we start our uh, presentation i would like to introduce this channel to you guys first every day we upload two videos and the first one which is this video we discuss the daily news analysis uh, we take up the articles which are most relevant for your exam and we discuss them in a detailed way and in the simplest language so that it would be easy for everybody who are who are uh, trying to prepare for their examinations and also the more information could be uh, given to you within a fixed time frame so that uh, ke aapka time bhi jada zaya na ho iske saath. Uh, by by preparing your uh, current affairs you know it is very time taking but if you have the right strategy you can reduce the time and you can in a very uh, limited time you can prepare very much uh, with respect to the current affairs if you follow these initiatives and also in the evening session we upload another video or uh, during the night session in which we discuss the daily quiz uh, in that we discuss the questions related to the current affairs and we discuss few questions from the previous year question papers. So with this, uh, I would like to request you guys, please do subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. And please do watch the whole video. You know, it may seem, uh, the introduction may not seem that attractive, but trust me, I would try my best to break these articles in the, simple, in the simplest language for you guys. So let's see what are the articles which we have to study. Here we have to study first article, which is heat stress is more than a degree of concern. Impact of heat stress on the economy. We will discuss it uh, with respect to our economy. Then the second article, political violence in America. We had seen the attack on Trump. It will add to it. We had already discussed this article in detail in our previous classes also. If you want to check that, uh, I don't remember the date when we discussed it, but it would be there. Then uh, about gig-based work, we had discussed this topic uh, I think th uh, three times in this month, we had uh, taken up uh, it uh, with the, with respect to the Karnataka proposal. We had discussed this in detail, but right now we will discuss few points also. If you want to learn more about it, then please refer to my old videos. And also about money bill, we had discussed this topic also. Then woman-led development. Uh, then after that, we have to uh, discuss the uh, sinking uh, skills with learning uh, this article was in the newspaper and also mental health and national development then formalization of msme and in how india may gain from the chinese foreign direct investment so these are the articles which we have to discuss today now let us start with the first article it is heat stress is more than a degree of concern before we start i would like to you know, let's have a basic chat about it. Uh, I would like to, you know, speak in Hindi. Dekhe, har ek insan ke ek capability hoti hai, ek uh, limit hota hai to tolerate something. Whether uh, it would be temperature, whether it would be pressure, whether it would be uh, anything in the relationships. Malab, har ek insan ka ek breaking point hota hai. Uske baad, jab wo breaking point hai, then his ability to withstand that pressure wo khatam ho jata hai. he is not able to withstand that similar is the case with the temperature for example ek insan kisi had tak temperature ko tolerate karta hai kisi uske baad kisi had tak wo usko pehle wo comfortable hota hai kisi temperature tak for example if we would see it is 25, 26 degrees, 27 degrees, it is comfortable temperature for any human being. Malab, har ek insan is temperature range with comfortable rehta hai. Phir jab wo 30 tak hai, 31, 32, it is tolerable. Malab, wo temperature insan tolerate karta hai, 30, 
it but it, this tolerance rate depends from country to country so iski wajah se kya hota hai agar matlab ke idhar mein ek point add karna chahta hu jo ye tolerance rate hai from country to country from region to region it does impact the economy of the region also after that matlab jab temperature punchta hai matlab ke 40 ke nazdeek then it is very hard for anybody to work in that extreme temperature so if this extreme temperature is there if this extreme temperature is there it will definitely impact the working working people it will definitely impact the laborers it will definitely impact the farmers working in the farms and because of this temperature jo in farmers ki condition hogi ya workers ki condition hoti hai agar koi construction site pe kaam kar raha hai koi kheton mein kaam kar raha hai to unki productivity pe impact aayega because of that it will finally impact the food security of the country it would impact the economy of the country this is the whole gist of this article matlab kaise how temperature impacts matlab kaise temperature impact karta hai ek individual pe aur finally how it impacts the economy dekhiye right now we are living in the time where climate change is a real thing it is not any myth anymore matlab pehle kehte the it was said that climate change it is in very much natural yes it is very much natural but at the rate at which it is changing is not the natural ye hame samajhna chahiye matlab kya wo kehte the ki agar hum dekhenge in the history also when there were Uh, we had seen different ages we had seen ice age then we had seen many ages in the history also then the argue say what where were the industries then why did this happen yes it is true that uh, uh, this climate change is a natural thing global warming is the natural thing but right now the pace at which it is warming it is not natural it is definitely man made it is definitely the impact of the man on the earth the impact of the man on this planet which led to these changes so it is the real thing now it is accepted truth right now and because of these climate change because of this global warming there we see many heat waves ab hum aayenge heat what is heat wave agar hum dekhenge usually ek normal temperature se matlab ke for plains there is different normal temperature matlab ke tolerable temperature mein bataunga not normal tolerable for a plain areas it is said 40 degrees for uh, hilly areas 30 degree agar uske zyada 2 3 degree ho jayengi temperature so for continuous 2 or 3 days then it is called the heat wave so this heat waves these heat waves does impact the workers it does impact the economy of the country then we had ipcc analysis here it says that matlab ki har ek insaan ki capacity matlab ki ek temperature jisme wo very much matlab uska body ka temperature jo 37 degree he is very much comfortable in that temperature and if there is anything change in it it would lead to the huge impact on the economy so it further says that if there is a change in the temperature there would be the if there is increase in the temperature if we see heat waves if we see an inconsistent heat then it would definitely impact the working hours of uh, in both agriculture and construction sector it is uh, in this news article the data was given that in the agriculture for the agriculture workers 60% decline in working hours would uh, it would lead to the 60% decline in the working hours and for the construction construction sector it will lead to 19% decline in working hours so we can see the impact of it on the working hours so that it also it does not only have the impact on the working hours it will uh, you know transit its impact on the equality of the country it will uh, give rise to the inequality now this inequality it, we can discuss it in two ways first the inequality in ho- uh, uh, on the basis of geography for example it is said that the heat waves uh, it impacts the asian and african region more than the european region because the if we would see there is 5% reduction in the asian and african region working of 5% reduction in the working hours of the asian and african region and 0.1% decline in the european region it is because of the difference of geography difference of temperature zones and all that this uh, it leads to this inequality and also we had seen because of the rising temperature we can it can lead to the gender inequality we can see that the, because of this uh, ri- rising heat waves women uh, you know they participate less in labor force than and you know they are 
they do not withstand the temperature they tend to stay at homes they are it is said that they are, they are less tolerant to the temperature and they uh, they participate less as compared to men in the working in the economy of the country if this temperature will increase unevenly so this was about this article now what could be the way forward for this so for the way forward we 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 need to have proper labor codes proper labor code should be there heat induced parameters needed to be added in those labor codes there should be availability of basic necessities like hospitals drinking water and all that and you know there should be shift based work so that the individual's health can be maintained and finally the working of the nation can be maintained so this was about the heat stress in is more than a degree of concern i hope i was able to transit uh, you know transfer the information related to this topic to you guys very in a very simple language i hope you would you would had understood much from it now to the another article it is about the political violence in america you know america has been the hub of the political violence not right now but from the decades from 5 6 7 decades or from the century itself we had seen many assassinations we had seen four presidents had been assassinated in usa you know recently we had seen the attacks on trump so what could be the reason for this what are the reason for this political violence in america and not only in america but in other areas also in other areas of the world also we had seen in particular in usa right now but it it's malab uh, it is not only limited to the us it it is seen in different ways in different parts of the world so what could be the reason of the rising political violence you know it, the author says there are few of the reasons for that first it is the polarization of ideas you know it is the thinking of the people that if i believe uh, right now the the rights of the people to speak anything what they want to matlab jo extreme right mil raha hai which is given by the democracy to the people aur unka ek soch ban raha hai logon ka ki jo wo soch rahe that only is the correct aur jo dusre soch rahe that is not the correct thinking wo jo soch ban rahe that that leads to the polarization of ideas matlab wo polarization of the world leta hai that breaks world into two halves one is extreme left and extreme right matlab ke hamari soch bilkul sahi there is no tolerance for others others thinking there is no respect for what others think it does not only uh, imply in political thing political way also it has its impact in all aspects of your social life whether it would be the relationship between a man and woman relationship between uh, father and mother relationship between father and son whether it would be the religious relationships whether you are following one one sect of the religion and other is following following other sect of the religion that extremism of the thought that our thinking is the right one this is the extremism of the thought which uh, the people are holding right now because of that this extreme extremism of the thought we had uh, you know polarized the world into two halves and also it, it, with respect to the us there is the gun culture you know guns are very much available for everyone who wants to have it and you know if uh, that individual who individual who is having the gun and his mentality is you know hijacked by the extremism he can uh, go for any thing what he wants to do he can go for assassination of leaders or anything what he wants to do if anything does not match his thinking so this is also one of the reason fragmentation of the society one of the reason and also if we will see in uh, us if we would you know discuss this with respect to the politics of us we had seen in us there are two Um, uh, two parties uh, two major parties democrats and republicans democrats are the far left and the republicans are far right and we had seen the assassination assassination attempts of these leaders belonging to these parties so these are few of the reasons and you know this polarization this uh, uh, political violence is not limited to us itself if we will take the example of different countries for example if we will take the 
example of our country itself this political violence is here but it has not reached at the level of the us we had seen we have different political parties and the affection for a of a person towards a political party is very dangerous in our country itself what we do if we are following any particular party and we follow that particular party so blindly that we ignore every party around us and you know what we do whatever our leaders say that is the word from the bible for the people and you know they follow it blindly and whatever the opposition opposition says uh, i mean by opposition i mean the the other other parties which are not following your views uh, you would uh, you will counter that without thinking anything matlab ki itni matlab ki wo hai itna divide ho raha hai hamari thinking mein ki jis bhi party ko hum support kar rahe wo sahi hai chahe wo kuch bhi kare aur jis party ko hum again jis party ke against hai to wo galat hai chahe wo kitna hi sahi ho so this matlab ye jo ye thought hai this leads matlab ye phir kya karta hai yahi thought phir forward hokar it takes another steps जब फिर अगर खुदा ना खासा अगर इन्हीं लोगों के पास हम गन देंगे या ऐसे एसेसरीज देंगे बाई विच दे कैन हर्ट द पीपल दे विल डेफिनेटली गो एंड हर्ट द पीपल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थिंकिंग और इसमें एक रोल पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स का भी है क्योंकि बिकॉज फॉर देयर वोट बैंक दे मेक सम स्टेटमेंट्स मतलब जो विद मतलब कि जो जो लोगों लोग चाहते सुनना कोई स्टेटमेंट इफ यू नो इफ देयर इज divide in the country if there is you know uh, communalism in the country the communalism is increasing in the country and you know leaders know which way when they go go and you know deliver their lecture uh, to their people they know what their people want to listen aur wahi jo fir usi mein wo aisi baatein karte which will stay with the people forever or that that also adds to the polarization of the world and that this also adds to the राइजिंग वायलेंस राइजिंग पोलिटिकल वायलेंस और दूसरी बात अगर हम रोल ऑफ सोशल मीडिया देखेंगे इट हैज ऑल्सो इम्पैक्टेड वेरी वर्सली इन द राइजिंग पोलिटिकल वायलेंस वी हैड सीन एग्जैजरेटेड फेक न्यूज इज कमिंग इन इन वी सी दम ऑन द सोशल मीडिया एंड वी गेट एक्साइटेड फॉर फॉर दैट एंड यू नो वी डेवलप अनवॉन्टेड हेटरेड फॉर द पीपल विच वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू हेट बाई आवर नेचर सो so, ये सब चीजें ऐड करते हैं टू इट और पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स का बयानबाजी करना दैट ऑल्सो एड्स टू इट सो वट कुड बी द वे फॉरवर्ड अब वे फॉरवर्ड जो इसमें दिखता है द ऑथर द ऑथर द वे फॉरवर्ड विच द ऑथर मैंशन हेयर इज कि लोगों को समझना चाहे कि इट इज नॉट द ड्यूटी ऑफ द पोलिटिकल लीडर्स ओनली कि वो सोसाइटी में पीस लाए इट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ एवरी पर्सन मतलब कि हु इज लिविंग इन द कंट्री दैट ही शुड थिंक रैशनली मतलब वो ऐसा ऐसे ही बहकाऊ बातों में नहीं आना चाहिए ही शुड थिंक रैशनली ही शुड यू नो गेट वेल एजुकेटेड ही शुड कंसल्ट द एजुकेटेड पीपल एंड टॉक टू देम व्हाट इज गुड एंड व्हाट इज बैड एंड व्हाट शुड व्हाट व्हाट शुड बी फॉलोड एंड हाउ टू क्रिटिसाइज इन अ रेस्पेक्टफुल मैनर सो इट इज द Uh, it is the need of the time that uh, society should understand it is the it is their duty itself to end this polarization and they should stop playing the blame games that political leaders are doing this because of them it is happening no it is not because of them it is what you want to listen they are just adding fuel to that so this is up to the people itself to end this whole violence or to reduce it now coming to the another topic of today's discussion it is a gig based economy you know we have discussed this three to four times i guess in this month itself you know first we should know gig workers they are the individuals they are the workers who are hired on the basis of their work matlab work timing part time workers we can say matlab ki unko jab kaam karna hoga tab hi kaam karenge matlab ki contractual based workers you know it is one of the evolving economy right now and we had seen there are 15 million gig workers in our country and this gig worker gig based economy it gives jobs to 15 it has the job potential of 90 million jobs you know but it does not it is not all what is said there you know jab ye matlab company for example agar hum kisi company ko hire karne hote gig workers so they will give the advertise matlab very fancy advertising hogi wahan pe ki 
तुम्हारा कोई बॉस नहीं होगा बी यूर ओन बॉस वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर विशेज वर्क वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर टाइमिंग बट इट इज नॉट सेम क्योंकि जब भी कोई किसी कंपनी के साथ काम करेगा दे हैव द मोबाइल फोन दे हैव द ऐप एंड इट इज कंट्रोल बाय द अलगोरिदम ऑफ द ऐप सो दैट इज द इशू एंड यू नो देयर इज फिर द आर्टिकल सीज इतना सब कुछ है मतलब कि ये दिखाते बट इट इज नॉट दैट मच द रियल स्टोरी इज डिफरेंट इट इज द होल वर्किंग स्नैरियोज आर कंट्रोल बाय द ऐप अलगोरिदम ऑफ द ऐप and also there are no working hours you know these laborers which are working for the for these company these gig based workers they, they are excluded from the labor laws and you know because of that they have no uh, right their uh, job security is very less matlab ki unka job security bahut kharab hai aur jo the impact on their mental health could lead to the accidents and it can impact both the person फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर ओला ड्राइवर है एंड ही इज वर्किंग ओवर टाइम तो अगर उसकी वजह से जो इसकी मेंटल स्ट्रेस होगी इट कैन इम्पैक्ट द पैसेंजर ऑल्सो एंड हिज लाइफ ऑल्सो सो इट इज वट इज नीडेड हेयर द वे फॉरवर्ड वट इज नीडेड हेयर इट इज जो चीज यहाँ पे जरूरत है वो है मतलब कि यू नो देयर शुड बी मोर रेगुलेटेड कंडीशन फॉर दैम you know there more law should be should be favoring them matlab ki unka unki condition there should be social security for them you know uh, there should be formalization of fixed working hours social security is must and also the algorithm which uh, uh, assigns jobs to these people it should be transparent and also there should be stronger regulations and the more awareness uh, about uh, about uh, their uh, jobs to the people who are uh, to the gig workers so this was a little bit about we had already discussed it many times i hope uh, if you are following me you would definitely know that we had discussed this article at least four to five times earlier this month and it is in, uh, again we are taking it up we discussed it with respect to the karnataka bill their proposal for the uh, gig workers how the company should follow some norms before hiring and firing them the notice period they should be they should give them and the and some money taken from the companies for the welfare of these people we discussed it in very much detail in our previous chapter in our previous classes also so this was some add up to it uh, for example we should know a few prelims related uh, uh, points from here that uh, there are 90 million potential jobs for the gig workers you know the attract to advertisement uh, there are no fixed working hours and this leads to the mental stress of the person who is working for it and other stuff and so what are the way forward there should be there is no proper regulation and what are the way forward there should be there should be formalization of fixed working hours social security should be there transparent algorithm parameters should be there strong regulations and more awareness now moving to another article it is about the money bill we had discussed it money also we discussed it earlier you know it about money bill it is mentioned in article 110 it contains the provisions of it has six provisions which are broadly divided into the provisions of tax for money from the consolidated fund of india the guarantees given by the governments and all that this is mentioned in the article 110 you know about money bill it is introduced only in the lok sabha you know there is least role of the rai sabha in it you know after the lok sabha passes it for within 14 days rai sabha has to either recommend the changes or pass it rai sabha can only recommend the changes it cannot state the uh, reject the money bill so after 14 days it goes for the presidential uh, uh, you know ex- uh, acceptance you know it is said that this money bill is misused by certain governments they are they give the example of the aadhar act because uh, you know the government said there are so certain provisions related to the money as for example when we need your aadhar number so government can send you the money for the beneficiaries so it is a money bill the money is taken from the consolidated fund of india so uh, in in aadhar court judge in aadhar bill also the supreme court by 4 is 1 Uh, judgment it gave it in the favor of the government but you know it is said that it was misused the present chief justice of india uh, sir chandrachur he he was against this bill the only judge who was against this judgment 
then so there are pro, you know there are concerns that the provisions of money bill can be misused so right now we had already discussed the it is the role of the speaker who codifies who says whether the bill is money bill or not so it is up to him now this case is in the supreme court whether the speaker's decision of making a bill as a money bill or of labeling a bill as a money bill can be a question in the courts it is right now in the court now we will discuss more about it whether when the courts will, will give its decisions now moving forward to the another article it says about india has shifted to women led development economic survey you know uh, yesterday we discussed about the economic survey but when we discussed it then economic uh, uh, we discussed it about the female labor force participant participation but then it was not released now from the yesterday's economic survey we found out that the female labor force participation is increasing it is increasing more in the rural areas as compared to the as compared to the uh, urban areas also if we know that during covid years there was decline of labor force uh, you know there was huge decline of labor force now but uh, after the covid covid era ended after the covid years it is it has started to become the stable now what are the way forwards uh, which are needed to increase the female labor force participation you know there should be uh, workplace uh, the workplace environment should be bet made better for the women also there should be more awareness uh, for the women where they can find the jobs there should be upskilling campaigns there should be more, uh, you know Uh, establishment of more self help groups for the women and also more skilling centers for the women should be there so that they would be so skilled that they can get, get very much involved in the workforce participation of the country now moving to the another uh, article of today's discussion it is also related to the economic survey it says thinking skills with learning to boost job prospects of our country you know in our country in, 50% it is said that 50% of uh, the graduates uh, in our country are not employable because they lack the skill set which is required for uh, them to get any job and also because of the covid 19 the learning was hampered very badly so there is lack of skills uh, the education was hampered badly we had seen uh, from different agar hum dekhenge from different ngos for example pratham ngo they they give their report in which they mention that the class 8 students were not able to read the class second books so the education system is different so there is a there is a need for the syncing of education system with the uh, industrial requirements so what is said what is required that the internship more internship ships are required at the college malab ke at higher level so that private companies give more internship to the people they train those people whom they want to hire uh, so that they can benefit the economy and also because of the lack of integration of education sector and industry uh, our graduates are not uh, employable their skill set has uh, is very very low and they are least uh, uh, employable for any job so what is the need of the time these companies should you know In interact these uh, industries should uh, you know integrate with the education uh, so, you know institutes and you know transmit uh, the required skills into the education institutes and you know trade uh, train the students there and you know when they graduate uh, they would find the, it would be easy for them to find the jobs and definitely it will uh, uh, impact the economy in a good way So this was about the uh, sinking skills with learning to boost job prospects. Now moving to the another article uh, here it talks about the mental health a key driver of individuals national uh, individual and national development. You know when there is mental stress because of the working environment on an individual it reduces the productivity productivity of the individual to work so when there is a, when his productivity increase for example agar koi pressure situation ho for example it is usually seen in students who pressure unke paas exam ka pressure hota hai expectations from their parents so it gives them the mental stress their productivity reduces and because of that uh, reduction in the productivity their 
output reduces and for the student they get less marks and finally they many of the students are not able to bear the pain and they go for suicides and same does happen with the uh, elders also if they are not able to uh, uh, get the output which they require so they go for a different extreme condition like suicide or uh, drug addicting all that which will which definitely hampers their individual life and uh, in broader perspective it does impact the nation itself so the mental stress is the main uh, thing which is to be maintained for an individual there should be more psychologists around the uh, around the students around the workers so that uh, uh, they could be uh, there should be more counseling done to those uh, students and workers though so that uh, uh, they could uh, transmit they could express their feelings they could express their stress they it would and their stress would reduce and by reducing the stress the working environment has to be better there should be no matlab ke aise condition na ho working environment jo degrade kare kisi insaan ko and if ek do cheeze theek ho jayenge then the productivity would be good uh, output would be good and economy will improve and you know by this uh, the country will improve this was about uh, this was small article about the mental health as a key driver of individual uh, and national development now moving to the last article of today's discussion it talks about uh, it is very small article it talks about the formalization of msmes you know many of the msmes are not formal because they are not formal they are not able to uh, ac- they, their access to the credit is uh, very low they have issues with the credit availability and you know the so it it has impact on the development of the nation because msmes are very important for uh, for any nation so what is the need of the time it is the formalization has to be taken up by msmes so that it would definitely impact uh, our country in a good way so this was a very small article very few points were mentioned in it with this we conclude our today's discussion i hope you like the video and i hope you would share it with your friends and you know and definitely subscribe to the channel thank you for staying with me thank you very much